Without one of them, you've got problems. Without the other, you've no chance. Directional stability and ground contact. Anyone who wants to get ahead in a race and ideally stay there needs optimum control of their car. That's provided by the chassis suspension with extreme technical challenges to be mastered as a race car is constantly moving, continually changing load and center of gravity. Springs and shock absorbers play a key role. They ensure that wherever possible, the wheels are constantly pressed onto the ground, thus producing a high level of grip. grip niveau. This level of grip consists primarily or comes primarily from three factors. One of the factors is the load placed on the tire contact area, which in turn is decisively influenced by the car's load. The key is to utilize or spread the load as well as possible. For example, as in touring cars. Here, they set a negative wheel camber. That means greater lateral guided force around corners. The pressure gets spread more evenly onto the tire's contact area. The aim, a high level of grip and steering control. For example, through faster ground contact after riding the curb. A racing chassis like this is no good for normal road use, as you feel far too much. A race chassis doesn't actually need to provide any comfort. It simply needs to deliver performance. That means you've got to be able to drive round corners as fast as possible. If people try to drive on the road with a race chassis, they'd all get out after 50 kilometers at the most, saying it's far too hard for them. Race shock absorbers work far faster than the standard versions. In combination with the appropriate springs, they maintain optimum track contact. The distances that race chassis springs travel in and out can also be individually set. To clarify this, red is a hard spring for level circuits. Yellow is the soft version for bumpy tracks. Over major bumps, the wheel with hard suspension loses contact. Yellow makes contact with the track more consistent. The setup's based on the circuit's condition. A race car can be appropriately set up in advance without being on the track. The sensors on the wheels record their vertical acceleration. I've also got sensors on the chassis structure at the front and back, but let me record the spring level. In addition, I've also got a load cell on each of these posts that shows me the strength of tire contact. And then for each, I've also got acceleration and travel sensors. From this data, I'm then able to create the various parameters and graphs. Be it Formula One, endurance or touring car action, be it on asphalt tracks or off-road, the chassis suspension is in permanent use. However the route to the checkered flag looks, ground contact, reliable steering and vehicle control are always required, for the slightest slip can cost you the race.